peace, peace. Uh, Lee, coming back at you on behalf of SLEMyers.com and also our online metaphysical store, L9Shop.com. Alright, in this real quick video, I want to talk about the most important aspect of altar work. The most important aspect of altar work. Now, this this is based on my own personal opinion, obviously on my own experience from the people I've worked with. And I still, to this day, get many questions, many comments, many correspondences relating to altar work. And based on the question, I'm, st I'm still seeing that people aren't getting the point. So if you're following me exclusively for your altar work information, um, I've been very, uh, pretty consistent. You're not gonna find, I don't think, any contradictories or contradictions in the information I teach about the altar. Now, it may differ than what another teacher, another person is speaking about, but from my own example, or from my own presentations, like there's no conflicts, there's no, every all the information is consistent. So the most important aspect is gonna be consistent to what I've been talking about now for years. And that is consistent offerings, consistent offerings. Doesn't matter if you have a deity altar, ancestor altar, or both. The most important aspect is offerings. What are you giving? What food are you giving on a regular basis? And I said consistent offerings because in my opinion and from my experience, it's not good enough to give an offering once a month or once a week. When I say consistent, I mean every day or at least every other day. So the most important aspect is you giving your offering. And, and, and some people may say it's the deities, some people may say it's the ancestors, um, some people may say it's location. And from my experience, as long as you're consistent, it's gonna trump everything that I just stated. Um, what I'd say I wanna make this video real quick, but let, let me give an example. Say that you had um, some deities on your altar and you, you feel like that it may not be a good fit or you don't feel the vibration or the connection with them. Say you've been given all friends for, mm, let's say a couple months and you've been pretty consistent. Now I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, if you quote unquote have the wrong deities on the altar, but you've been given consistent, re consistent um, and regular offerings, more than likely your altar is gonna be popping off and those deities are gonna resonate with you. How do I know this? Say that you were sending somebody in your family some money and they were in jail, but y'all weren't cool or whatever. But say you've been putting money on their books for like two months. Eventually, y'all are gonna be cool because he knows that, or they they know that you've been rocking with them. You've been putting money on their books, so eventually they're gonna uh, they're gonna have some sort of bond with you based on your consistency. Same thing with the deity. Same thing with all this altar work. Just because you've been putting in that work, whatever energies you're wanting to connect with, they're going to be more apt to mess with you because you have been consistent, because you've been quote unquote making regular visits. You feel me? So the most important aspect of your altar work is giving a consistent and regular offering. The end. <laughs> So this has been Ali. If you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, be sure to visit my main website, salimyers.com. So if you're in need of metaphysical tools, supplies, altar supplies as well, uh, make sure to check out our online metaphysical store, l9shop.com. That's E-L, the number nine, shop.com. So until next time, this has been Ali. Peace.